You've heard of it, haven't you? The legend of Sparta? When I was young, my father would tell me stories about it. So Devil May Cry is pretty popular, right? Or is it is it niche? No, no, it's it's popular, it's popular, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it? No, fuck shit, fuck. The state of the industry has made it hard to be sure if four and a half games selling 16 million copies is popular or not. Well, fuck it, anyway, DMC is an important series, so fuck it, it's worth talking about. It's honestly one of the purest games there's ever been. I'm not gonna lie to you, you beautiful people, I'm not gonna lie, lies are bad, and I only get- I only got into DMC in, like, 2018. I'm a fake fan. I played a lot of DMC the 4th in, like, 2014, but I never finished it, and didn't really dig what it was about. Back in the nebulous time I was post-fetal but pre-divinity, I do remember watching my brother play what I'm pretty sure was DMC the first, and I shit myself in terror, because uh, demons and metal music is audible Satan. Both the HD collection was on sale, and I saw some cool stuff, and I main Sword and Shield and Monster Hunter, so I heard Devils Never Cry Meow Mix, and BAM, here we are. So Devil May Cry 3 is one of the greatest games ever made. I'm actively pissed off that I didn't play it when I should've. My life would have been different if I played this when it came out, back when I was fucking 11. I'd be a god king by now! Informed by this, this biblically good game, I would be the fucking ubermensch, the superman spoken of by Zarathustra. Or a relatively successful cult leader, preaching the good word of just release. It's Uno, my man. You pump out game changers like nobody else. You took the stain of DMC2 and made a tapestry, boy. I knew I picked the right developer to build a creepy closet mural to. It's worth noting that no matter which version of the game you're actually playing, there's a very important bug fix you need to be able to do right after the tutorial. When you press circle, or B if you're a fascist, you kind of just slip forward in what I guess is some sort of animation glitch. But once you're out of the first mission, you can just pop into the menu, flip it onto this option right here, and the game is fixed. The other two options are a little strange, so it's best ignored. You go to this one, and you get this weird stuff like weird enemy health bars, and Dante wearing a sexier coat, and existential dread. And the Swordmaster option might be your jam if you like Fight Club and meth. So here you are, playing the way it should be played. Royal Guard. You press circle and you effortlessly deflect the attack coming your way like a deadbeat dad deflects my affection. And just like any deadbeat dad, you take that affection, harness it, and hit me back ten times harder. If you master this technique, the damage you do will leave scars on the inside of your foe. Now, there are some people that might actually like to use this trickster bug. They'll make their excuses, they'll throw up gang signs and act like they shit don't shit, but and I mean they're right. Trickster is the best. Like, remember that famous moment in fighting games history when Daigo was a tick from death, Justin Wong used chun Li Super and Daigo backdashed away? No, no? Oh, 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 right, that's because he's not a coward! So you've got some good enemies in this game. You've got... A duel of hands, blood girls, hellguards and gluttony, pawns, bishops, the rooks and the king. The sloths and the abysses, the vipens are shippers, the queen knights and hellguards despair. There's envies, enigmas, lust rocks and soul eaters, and tape worms and spiders and still. There's agony and ruger and lady and nevin, 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 nevin. And angels the worst in the game. There's Cerberus, Jester and Darkerman, horsey doppelganger, but he's pretty lame. There's Beowulf and that's it. Yeah, yeah, let's talk about these bosses. The mostly lame-ass losers with no motivation. Gigapede, Leviathan, Doppelganger, they belong in a landfill. Horsey, Cerberus, Mr. Blobby, Deadbeat Punks, Good Intentions, Shitty-ass Execution. And then you have your S-rank big dick OG winners like Beowulf, Jester, Navan. And don't you forget Agni and Rudra. These boys make Ornstein and Smo look like Chaz and Dave. But all in all, they're pretty good bosses. Because this is a good game. They all belong in a Hall of Fame. A Hall of Fame built beneath the Cathedral of Virgil. Virgil is the greatest boss in video games. Phalanx, get the fuck out. From Software's bosses? Nope. No. The only boss that's even remotely on the same playing field is THE boss, and Virgil still wipes the floor of her on the grounds that DMC is an action game, and Metal Gear Solid doesn't have Royal Guard. I looked up a number of top boss lists, and Virgil wasn't on any of them, so all those lists are unethical for not including mention to this Cadillac of men, this Dr. Pepper of warriors, this beautiful collection of delights and wonders that we call Virgil. He taunts you and he deserves to, he backs it up, but it never feels unfair. It's a pitch-perfect boss fight. 
The slim narrative of the game pretty much just exists to emphasize that Virgil is a league of his own. He's sexy, he's refined, he's defined almost every character action game's plot ever since. I mean, Virgil didn't invent rivalry, but he sure perfected it. So yeah, DMC3 was a shot in the arm to me. I'm pissed off I got around to it this late. I'm also pissed off that it took me all this time to make this video. Fuck, I'm a lazy sack of shit. Anyway, I'm shitty at ending videos, so just remember to cherish everyone you know. All life is life in every perspective, no matter how dumb it may seem, adds richness and beauty to this world. Let go of hate, it only hurts you in the end. See you later, fuckers.